Love it, brother. All right. Loving it. All right. You gonna run them? Thank you, thank you. You back? And then record the approximate run time on the track. And then they record the initial temperature, the temperature of the fuel that we use to fill up the tank, and then the temperature after we fill up the tank. And then we record the total volume of the fuel used in the tank. And we enter in all the data that I just, just told you, and it'll give calculations with that data of the equivalent miles per gallon. We shipped the car from Canada. It was stuck because of the customs. We got it yesterday uh, in the middle of the afternoon, and the car got here around 5, and uh, we've been working on it since then. We, can, we could get on the track hopefully before noon, so we can have the time to uh, do one or two runs. Up and you lose power and everything's still going, then flip it all the, the way, way down. down. Uh, there, our chain came off our sprocket to turn our wheel. Oh, but we're good to go again. Oh, yeah, we'll oh, be back on the track. Something with the starter going haywire. We'll figure it out, though. Ain't no big deal. Starter wire. The starter wire's uh, loose. Uh, we had some issues with our starter, so we were fooling around with it, and uh, we had to remake a, a, a piece on it. And we just had problems yesterday while I was driving. This is our driver right here. She's gonna she's gonna carry us to uh, wherever we're going. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess with this car. And it, and it was a lot better than the first qualifying one, so we should have uh, we improved our we're standing. Gonna, we're going to switch drivers yeah, and do one more. <laughs> uh, we just passed the safety inspection, and we're ready to go uh, on the track right now. <laughs> It was uh, better than I was thinking for the first ride, so I'm proud.